Before you go, subscribe, like, and comment. Click the bell if you want notifications of new episodes. Perhaps that was fate telling me not to speak, but anyway. This year's project, cutting weight and going on more adventures. I'm okay with wet wind and cold, but I need to get better at being warm and going vertical. This is a really good place to test new equipment because it's so steep. For example, exposing the knees leaves the groin dry out. Having a proper sun hoodie that covers the head and the hands is great. Glasses, it's important that they don't just mist up when you start sweating. And you know, looking cool is very, very important in the mountains. And welcome to the Sufferfest of 2021. That was an expensive remake. And one of the things I'm struggling a bit with right now is the boots. Technical socks really make a difference and having proper laces at the correct length is night and day going in the mountains. This is also a very useful tool. All the advertisement I see shoot it like this. I get much better result by turning it around, fixing the front and having the full range of motion behind the rifle. Make a point of practicing on the rough ground. Flip it around, fix it and you have a much wider view and you can get much better support back here. Okay. Flip it around, fix the front, and you'll have better movement and position behind the rifle. Okay, square up, point, let go, bring the rifle in, and flip, and I'm right on target, point. Drop the back, bring the rifle in. If you struggle, bring the left hand back to the right and you'll crack the code on how to place your feet faster. So I push forward with the left hand, pull backwards with the right hand and I let the hips and the feet find the elevation. That's it. So the message is, don't be afraid to experiment a little. Okay, let's measure this target. 13.5 wide. 15 high. It's relevant. Just a lovely Norwegian summer. Now, that camera tumble you saw cost me around 3,000 euros. I can't really keep doing that, so I need to bring in some sponsors. The content will now be changing a little towards being more relevant for hunters. Hopefully, I will still be to the point and relevant to what you will be doing. Maybe I'll speak some more too. I don't know. Okay, see ya. Subscribe to the THLR channel by clicking the left logo icon so you'll be shooting straighter than a drunk skunk before the sun shines over northern Norway.